actually is a long time ago. Wow. So the Higgs uh, is what gives people, and by people, I mean particles, their mass. And at the time of writing this book, it was not discovered. It was the one missing boson, the one missing little particle. Oh, this model, however, does not provide a unification of all three interactions in the same way that the electroweak theory does for two of them. Physicists hope eventually to unify all three of the forces discussed so far in a single theory, which would be known as a ground unification theory. By the way, I would consider something a ground unification theory if it also, of course, unified gravitation. Can't forget that one, but oh well. There are many contenders for such a theory, but it is not known which, if any, is correct. Because by the way, another thing with unifying the three non-gravitational forces, I do believe required supersymmetry as well. So we kind of read that from the other book called The Elegant Universe by Brian Greene. And it turns out, if I remember correctly, and if I understand correctly, that um, to unify even the three non-gravitational forces, you actually needed supersymmetry or SUSY. And if SUSY is not discovered yet in uh, a experimental sense, of course it's been theorized, but if there is no evidence of SUSY in the colliders or something, that tells us that supersymmetry is real and particles have their super partner uh, particles as well. On top of everything else, um, then it would be a little difficult to unify the non-gravitational forces, okay? So another thing where I wanted to point out that uh, we know that we don't quite know that, okay? It's important to understand what we don't know.